What are we doing today? We're wearing 14 layers because the weather <laughs> turned on us. <laughs> it's like 40 degrees outside today. The weather finally <laughs> turned on us. It's definitely fall now, but the winter's totally coming. Yes. Which is kind of scary because it gets intense here. We dodged a snowstorm this weekend. It was supposed to snow. It just got really cold. <laughs> Frigid. Yeah, so we'll see how this whole demolition project goes. We're quick. <laughs> Quicker. Yeah, so this is kind of lighting a fire done. under our ass Seriously. to get this project taken care of before uh, snow comes. We're also wanting to paint the outside of the bus. We might put that into like high gear, right? you know, because if it starts snowing, we're not going to be able to paint the bus. Yeah, it was going to be like a finishing touch, like mm -hmm. the very last thing that we did, mm -hmm. but yeah if precipitation is coming we might want to do it now but for today we are creating our couch and storage space right here is where we will be installing a basically just a box for our couch to sit on a box for our couch to sit on and you know to obviously put things in and use for storage. We're gonna keep it really simple. We don't want some high-tech freaking thing. We're just gonna create a frame and then we have a half-inch plywood to uh, lay across the frame and then we're not even gonna make doors or anything. We're just gonna use some cool fringe or a tapestry or something to create a cover. Just like a really simplified um, storage cabinet for a couch. We got four eight foot long two by fours and two 10 foot long two by fours for this project. And that's pretty much it. We were messing around with some wood stains. We originally got one called American Classic. Early American. Early American. And it was a little too rich. And also the name wasn't suiting us. So <laughs> we um, bought a gray called Classic Gray. It was way too gray. It was like pouring gray paint onto the wood. It so, looked lovely on the swatch. Yeah, the swatches look so different than they do yeah. in person. It, it looked like cement. It looked like cement, <laughs> not the look. So we went back and settled on driftwood and that was a little too light. <laughs> so what we ended up doing was mixing whatever we had left of the American Classic with the Driftwood. American Driftwood. <laughs> American Driftwood. Up with that. We're just gonna get started. All we're gonna do is measure out these pieces, get them cut, and screw them together. <laughs> <laughs> basically a ladder on its side. <laughs> um, and now we're taking L brackets and putting one at every single angle on the tops and the bottoms. No options today, so we're a little slower paced than we thought. As usual. As usual. <laughs> it's okay, we had a late lunch. We drove through the, through the woods a couple of times. Three times. <laughs> Three or four times. Four times, actually, we went back for the same. Oh, yeah. We've been there four times today. Just, well, just have the right screws and drill bits and you're good. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, we're installing these L brackets now. Just don't want to look stupid. Because uh, <laughs> it's an awkward angle. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. The pressure of the camera.
Ta-da! The other part of our box has been built and now we're just adding L brackets to all of these angles. Now that we have our proper tools, um, things are going a lot more smoothly. Right, babe? Maybe not right yeah, this moment. Well, no, they are, they're about to. They're about to. Love how on YouTube we look like we're getting this stuff done within minutes, but in reality it just takes days and days. For today, we're just gonna finish our storage unit by attaching um, uh, little beams all across um, the bottom and the top, and then attaching our plywood, and then we'll stain it, and then we'll throw our couch on it. So we made our little pattern right on this block, right. just a rectangle with a corner cut out. So that's how we're documenting it. Then we're just tracing it onto this piece of ply. place of having our structure pretty much complete we get to experiment and do some fun bits so we're adding a little side table with two by fours and a little bit of uh, leftover plywood isn't that kind of cool like how last minute you can say hey let's add like a shelf here or you know whatever just yeah. kind of make more custom changes once you've got like a structure complete yeah like oh there's a hole right there let's up the table yeah so for the legs we're using a two by four that we're gonna cut in half so they're not so thick and yeah go from there four blades is that the first blade yeah that's still the first blade we yeah all the way back through our wood floors oh god <laughs> poor thing attach these legs. Um, Jeremy's holding it on the top and I'm basically using psychic powers to like find a spot to screw a two and a half inch screw in from the bottom. 
this is like really, I'm sure there's a real way to do this, but this is how we're doing it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, one now, more. Yeah, now uh, we're gonna add a second one and then we'll screw the tabletop on. And that, my friends, is a custom side table. Here you go. Yum! Oh. Yeah. So everything looks really good. We're ready to steam it. I guess that's the next what one does. And quickly, um, I just went ahead and added two L brackets to the bottoms of these to give it a little extra stability. So everything is stained and the last thing that we're gonna do is drill um, two holes in the front so that we can place two or three inch dowel rods in the holes. We do plan on leaving the sofa detached so that we can convert it a couple of different ways. Just while we're driving around, we don't want her to like slip forward. So that's what these little removable dowel rods will be for. We're just using this um, hole cutter drill bit. It's one inch wide and it will go almost an inch deep. <laughs> Kids are on fire. Wow. Holy shit. So these are our cut dowels. Stick them right in there and that'll keep our couch in place when we're driving. So all we're gonna do is stain them and then um, tomorrow we'll show you the full reveal. Didn't bring forks for what? Our cucumber salad. God damn it. We just decided before we gave you the big reveal to walk out and have a little picnic. We should uh, show you guys a little more of our lives and the kinds of things that we like to do other than bus renovations. We're so lucky that our house is backed up to the woods and we can literally just hike right out here whenever we want. If you take a look at what I'm looking at. There's a beautiful view of the mountains. Being able to walk out here from your house is pretty much the most mind-blowing, amazing thing that you could do for yourself. Look at that. So yeah, we wanted to give you a little daily vlog of some things that we like to do. So we're starting it off with a little picnic in the park. Um, nothing pairs better with a picnic in the woods than a little Pinot Grigio. Um, we have these gorgeous grapes, uh, cucumber salad, sesame cucumber salad, and some veggie sandwiches, salt and vinegar chips. And some salt and vinegar chips! You know you love the salt and vinegar. Had to. Yeah. Ming's here. Yeah, Ming! <gasps> Good girl! Pretty! Big glass. Because. I hear that one's oh. your pretty one. Cheers to you guys to a little yeah. wine. <laughs> Nothing like a little $5 gas station Pinot Grigio. <laughs> On the corner market. On the corner market. <laughs> show you this gorgeous cucumber salad. The only thing in this salad is cucumbers, apple cider vinegar, sesame oil and sesame seeds. And it's to die. Delicious grapes from Trader Joe's, salt and vinegar chips, and then some delicious veggie sandwiches that Jeremy made. Just a salad on bread, basically. Yes, I do say sandwiches with an M, sandwich. On our sandwiches, it's um, tomato, avocado, onion, mayo, mustard, a little lettuce, and cucumber. What kind of bread? Uh, spelt? Spelt bread. Spelt. spelt bread. I can't even spell spelt bread. <laughs>
That's me. That tree is me. back at the bus and we're ready to show you our frame the big reveal before we show you the grand reveal right. i suppose pre-reveal yeah right. so here she yeah. is oh. you might be wondering why she's two-toned but we didn't bother staining the back pieces because it's just gonna be so much stuff and covers and all that I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but for the front cabinets, we're not doing cabinetry or doors. We're gonna find a really cool tapestry or maybe like a leather or a suede fringe or some kind of tassels or just like a really cool um, kind of boho accessible sort of cover for that. Okay, are you ready to throw the couch on? Yeah. Let's do this. As you can see, we have the most storage under here. Crawl space. <laughs> you know, I can fit under here. There's plenty of space. <laughs> yes, that that's where <laughs> This is the first uh, positioning. Kind of um... Like a Shaw's. Yeah, like a Shaw's. <laughs> this is kind of how we intended to have it most of the time. That's why we built the table up to this height and just has a really cool kind of different appeal. And we can also fully couch it out, which leaves us a lot of surface space um, for whatever projects or projects, whatever we have going on. And then it also will fully extend um, for afternoon naps. Into a six foot bed. <laughs> Lounging, yeah, it's basically a twin bed for Yes, and whatever, also the, the traveling positioning. So the costs for all of this were really not too bad. We went and got all the wood in one run and it was $100. And then all the L brackets to go pretty much in every angle was $30 altogether. Then the wood stain was $15 and we got the couch on Wayfair and it was like $309. So it was a total of like $454. Yeah. For everything. For a full custom yeah. cabinetry and mm -hmm. couch combo. Bucks, assumingly. Oh look, who's no. that stump? Merlin? So close, yeah look. <laughs> He's coming to check in out. We have uh, resident squirrels. We have squirrel friends <laughs> <laughs> that we feed and they they like us. Looks like he's about to come into the damn bus. Um, oh. Anyway, so what else? We got the couch on Wayfair. No, they are not child traffickers. That was all the conspiracy. Oh, exactly. <laughs> A couple months ago, there was all these like conspiracy theories about them. Selling children. Oh my. 
in addition to the on, Way, on Wayfair.com. By the time any everybody saw the articles and then went to Bear, like see if you could do that, it Wayfair fine. had taken it down, and it was just oh, like not. Good, but, yeah, it was just like so crazy. But we'll, we don't support that. We don't support that. <laughs> but we, just I don't, to be clear, I think yeah. that there was no substance or baseline right. behind all of that. So you know, I swear to God, if we don't say that, people, lash, yeah. where people are going to be like, Wayfair, stop it, children. Right, right. No, it's like, like, we know that it's really high. Like our feet are dangling. Like, <laughs> dangling. I feel like a, like I'm three again. A lot of bus and RV and van conversions use storage space above. And we really just wanted to keep it nice and open. So right. we decided to do way more storage on the bottom. Sacrifice a little bit of like normal height sofa situation, but we're both like six feet tall So it feels really comfortable for us to have a elevated sofa. Yeah, and We really like it. So but yeah, it is tall. It it's is. very like opium den when you walk in It's like a big pedestal and you're just up here lounging. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Rocking that and some pants everywhere. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, thanks for watching and we thanks hope that you learn something or were inspired a little bit to do something cool on your own. Bye! Bye! Bye. Okay.